Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, guys. Greetings from the island. Greetings from the island. What's this the plan is today? just uh, we're just outside of Campbell River. We're uh -huh. visiting Miracle Beach at the moment. Yes. And Campbell River is where I was born. Yeah, so we've already <laughs> been to Sam's hometown of Gold River. Yeah. Now we're in his place of birth. Right. Campbell so my I, I'm from such a small town village that uh, you know nobody gave birth in town yes. <laughs> unless it was an emergency. <laughs> so I was born in Campbell River. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be checking out things in and around the town today. Yeah, okay, so the plan. We've got a few places plotted on our maps. Yeah. First up, the hatchery, because yes. the other day we were reading the news and we saw that someone had been able to photograph a black bear because yeah. they come to the hatchery to eat some salmon. That's right. And I'm staring off in the distance because there's a seal just bobbing around, sticking its head <laughs> out of the water. Under it goes again. Um, but yeah, we're hoping to see yeah. black bears catching that, some fish. That would be our fourth black bear sighting on yeah. this whole trip. We've had extremely good luck. So. Mm -hmm crossing our fingers that we see another one today. Yeah, and aside from that, we want to go to Elk Falls to do a yeah. bit of hiking. Apparently there's a cool suspension bridge there as well. That's right. And actually within Campbell River, there's a nice pier to visit. Mm. So it's a nice combination of beaches, hiking, maybe seeing some bears, maybe walking along the pier. So it should be a really fun day. And it's, it's slightly raining at the moment, but apparently yeah. we're going to have mostly nice weather this afternoon. Yeah. And we're looking forward to the sun hopefully popping out. It's like out. sunny, but raining. Like yeah. half the sky is blue, half is gray. Exactly. It's Vancouver Island. What can I tell you? People? Yeah. But what do you think of Miracle Beach so far? It's very nice. And you know, we're here on a Monday morning, so there's yeah. hardly anyone here. Hardly I guess anybody. everyone's at work. Work and at school. So peaceful. So peaceful it's just beautiful the, the the water looks like like clear today it looks yeah. like a like a reflection you have clouds off in the sky there's a few fairies we're seeing a few animals mm -hmm. beautiful beach and um, yeah we're just gonna walk around for a bit after our stop at Miracle Beach we hopped back in the car and continued our drive up to Campbell River after a week of spotting black bears left, right, and center, we had a funny little incident where a fluffy black creature walked across the road and everyone mistakenly yelled, BEAR! I wonder how often that happens to this pup. Once we got into town, we checked out some of the murals and browsed through antiques at the trading post before heading down to the pier. Well guys, we made it to Campbell River and the first place we went to, I think it was called a trading post, kind of like an antique store but with a little bit of junk <laughs> thrown in there. Um, so Sam found some cards, some playing cards or hockey cards from his childhood. They were only two bucks so he's like, yeah, I'm gonna get this. So I'm gonna let him show you that little treasure okay so we arrived in campbell yes, river and sure what's the first place well you the, fir to visit? the first place we we noticed this this big store this giant antique store it's like a pawn shop antique store slash trading post slash trading post it's got everything in there all used and guys they had something memories from my childhood pack of hockey cards opg from 1991 92 this is 28 years old, guys. And these hockey cards inside of there is going to be the most stale piece of gum you're ever going to see in Are your you whole life. Are you planning to eat that? No, but I'm going to show Not it to you. Gum. Okay. Yeah. And guys, all of my favorite, you know, hockey players growing up could be in this pack. I'm hoping for maybe a Jeremy Roenick or Chris Chelios or Ed Belfour from the Blackhawks. Or if it's from the Vancouver Canucks, which is the most local team, I might find Trevor Linden or Pablo Burry in here. The Montreal Canadiens. Oh, I, I, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's open it up. Oh, wow. Mark Hunter. Is the first player I see, but guys, the the bubble gum. Oh my! Twenty eight year old bubble gum, right here. Are you gonna try chewing it? I mean, <laughs> no. How bad could it be? <laughs> it's gum. <laughs> I don't want to go to the hospital today. Okay, let's see who we have. Albert Melgan. He never became much of a player. Whoa, Cam Neely. That's a local BC boy, Hall of Famer, right here, guys. 
He played for the Vancouver Canucks and the Boston Bruins. He's from Comox, guys. Comox, BC. Oh, okay. He's a he's an island boy. In the neighborhood. Probably one of the most famous hockey players of all time from, from Vancouver Island. Marty McSorley. He had a pretty long career. He's also most known for a, a vicious incident. On ice? On ice. Okay. Where he hacked a player over the head with a stick. Oh my gosh. Mike That's Sillinger, cool. Jay Miller. Oh, Mike Liu. Yeah, an old goalie. Look at the old pads and uh, it's like ancient gear. John Drews. Oh, none of my favorite players so far. Toronto Maple Leafs. Come on, where, where, where are the Blackhawks? Kevin Hatcher, he had a long career, and Mark Hunter. None of the cards I was hoping for, but you know what? Cam Neely made it worth it. Go get another pack. I, I, I should. Uh, you should. You for, should. <laughs> for two bucks? Okay, I will get one more. So next stop, now that Sam has his hockey cards and he's feeling happy, we are at the Discovery Fishing Pier. And well, it looks like half fishing vessels and then half sailboats. And we also noticed a sign where you can buy fresh seafood uh, oysters, scallops, clams, and we saw signs for smoked salmon as well. So we'll see if we find any of that and maybe ice cream. I know there's an ice cream shop somewhere here because that's the kind of thing I would be looking for. The Discovery Pier is Canada's first saltwater fishing pier, so it's a little piece of history. It looks out over the Discovery Passage and it's a popular fishing spot. The pier stretches out 600 feet and is equipped with rod holders, bait stands and fish cleaning tables. You can even rent fishing rods if you're there between May and October. However, I was thinking a little less about fishing and a little more about ice cream. <laughs> caramel on the bottom and then strawberry on top. Well, someone got an ice cream. Time for a little dessert before we eat our lunch. We do have sandwiches in the car, but I mean, there was an ice cream parlor here, so we just couldn't resist. So we actually got the smallest cone they had. This is the kid size, if you can believe that, with two scoops. The regular adult sizes all had three scoops. So I got strawberry on top and then we have sea salt caramel for Sam on the bottom. So so. Hurry up and eat that strawberry. <laughs> so you can get yours. Yeah. How is mm. it? Favorite flavor. afternoon we continue to the Quinsome River Hatchery because have I already mentioned that Campbell River is the salmon capital of the world? The hatchery has a visitor center with information about the hatchery program and the salmon life cycle. But really, I think most of us were there for a chance to spot a black bear fishing. Well guys, we've arrived at our next destination, the Quinsome Hatchery. We got here just in time because apparently they close at 3.30 p.m. We had no idea, so we barely got in. There's lots of warning signs here about black bears and there's also a lot of photographers with their massive zoom lenses waiting by the river. So apparently it's a good spot to see bears. We haven't seen any yet, but I mean, We've already spotted three during our trip here across the island, so we're doing pretty good. But yeah, we're just heading down to the water now, see what's going on. They also have some trails that you can walk along, so it's actually a really nice spot. We're just waiting for some bears, huh? We are just waiting for that black bear to appear. Oh my god. Well guys, we saw a bear, but we didn't capture it on camera. It was like horrible timing. 
just as we were doing our little speaking clip, yeah. you noticed people were like pointing and there was a bit of a commotion. And we turned around and the bear was going back into the woods with a yeah. big salmon in its mouth. He caught one against the, uh, the fence, the barrier that they have over there to stop yeah. the salmon from going upstream. Yeah. And uh, well, for him, it's like going to the supermarket because <laughs> all he had to do is open his mouth and grab. There is hundreds so you, and hundreds you, you of You caught them. a little bit of it going back into the bush. Like his backside and his tail, like climbing back yeah. I back mean, up. we'll show what we got. We so uh, we've been waiting for another 40 minutes to see if he came back. I figured he was going to come back because he was a large bear and one salmon and for him is not enough. But yeah. for some reason, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't, come he back hasn't uh, shown his face again. So he's feeling shy now maybe, that he's got a big audience waiting. <laughs> uh, maybe he's yeah. late in the afternoon when everybody goes from here. Yeah. There's no people. Uh, that's right. They watching. shut. They shut this. They shut this place down at 3:30. 3:30. Yeah. It's almost that time now. So yeah, it's already four, yeah. 20 to 3. So I don't think we're we're gonna see another one at least here. But we still have another hike. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll see one on the hike. We'll see. The Quinsome River hatchery was a real find and we only learned about it after my dad saw a photo of a bear fishing for salmon in the local newspaper. For any of you who may be interested in visiting, we geotagged this location and added some info over on the Trove app. The hatchery is located a short 5 km drive from downtown Campbell River heading west on Highway 28 and left on Quinsom Road. It's open to visitors 7 days a week from 8am to 3.30pm and well worth the visit if you're already in the area. From there, it was onwards to nearby Elk Falls. Update! Welcome to Elk Falls Provincial Park, is it? Yeah, uh -huh. I was telling Audrey that uh, I never came here when I lived in Gold River and the reason being is apparently the suspension bridge area was created in 2009. <laughs> it's new! And I left in 1999, so <laughs> oh, 10, wow. year, 10 years it's after. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a little while. And so this is actually very close to my hometown of Gold River. Mm -hmm. And it's actually on the highway from Campbell River to Gold River. Yeah. And it's a beautiful little trail and there's going to be a suspension bridge. And yeah, it's just a nice way to kind of end the day. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a nature hike here. Um, it's been a phenomenal day. I mean, we saw another bear. We had a really nice time in Campbell River. And yeah, what a great day. Yeah. One of the main draws to Elk Falls is the 25 meter waterfall that gives the park its name. There's a suspension bridge for those willing to brave the heights, as well as viewing decks for those who prefer to stay a little closer to solid ground. We saw a golden retriever make it across, but not all visiting pups were convinced. Well guys, we are continuing our little walk through Elk Falls Provincial Park. We just finished visiting the suspension bridge and it's a really beautiful time of day because the sun is beginning to set so we're getting this nice golden light, it's golden hour. So yeah, it's just really nice for filming and photography but also a nice time to be out enjoying nature. And yeah, we're just taking a few different trails. There's an incredible trail network here in this park and none of the trails are too long so we're just kind of like sampling them all and yeah I've fallen a bit behind I'm trying to catch up with Sam and my dad now I think they wanted to go get a closer look at the waterfalls
As a tip guys, there are a few different loops you can take while you're here. Mm -hmm. Right now we are doing the old forest growth loop and I have to say there isn't one other person here aside from the three of us. Everyone is keyed in on the falls, the suspension bridge exactly. and this whole section through this beautiful part of the forest we've got to ourselves. So tip if you come here, do the whole circuit. And that's pretty much a wrap for a day exploring Campbell River and the surrounding area. In tomorrow's episode, we continue our drive south, making a stop in Nanaimo to try their delicious Nanaimo bars, and we also visit the biggest hockey stick in the world before continuing on to our final destination, Victoria. Only two more episodes remain, so we'll see you soon.